Lesson 8. 3D Asset Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity Introduction course. On the next couple of lessons, we will show you how to import 3D assets into Unity and get them ready to be used in games. Step 1. Get the files. Before you can add a 3D model to Unity 3D, you must make sure you have an FBX file and the textures for it. For this tutorial, we are going to use one of our models to exemplify the process. Our model was created on Autodesk 3ds Max, we used this software to build the mesh and generate the UV maps. Next, using the maps generated by 3ds Max, we worked on the textures on Photoshop. Finally, we generated the normal maps using the X normal plugin for Photoshop. Make sure you have all the files organized in different folders. This will help you to keep a good structure to the whole project. Step 2. Import the files. Create a new folder on your project and name it 3D Assets. Next. Create a new one inside of it and gave it the name of the model you are going to use. Now you need to create a well organized structure for your project. For this we created the following folders. Mesh Textures Materials Prefabs Grab the FBX file and drop it on the mesh folder. This will import the 3D mesh. Now, select the texture files and drop them on the texture folder. Make sure you import all textures including the normal maps. Step 3. Creating the materials. Now that you have your base assets on the project, you will need to create the materials to use on your 3D mesh. The materials allow you to apply textures and colors to your 3D assets during the rendering. To create a new material, on the main menu, select Assets, Create, Material. Once the material has been created, you can apply it to an object and tweak all of its properties in the inspector. To apply a material to an object, you just drag it from the project view to any object in the scene or hierarchy. For our model, you will need to create a total of three materials, one for each texture. Next, drag the corresponding texture and drop it on the base texture field of the material. Now, when you apply this material to a 3D object, the material will place the texture on it. This was our first video on 3D assets. On the next video we will start by taking a closer look at the shaders and how they relate to the materials you just created. If you enjoyed this tutorial, Please don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel. If you have any doubts or feedback, leave it on the comment section below. Until next time, and keep doing awesome games.